in listen only mode. Uh, this is Sandy Vicani with Insurance Agency Marketing. I'm a supervisor at Producer Services here. Wanted to say thank you so much for attending our webinar with uh, Baltimore Live. Gary Voith is the Vice President of Corporate Marketing. Um, he will be uh, providing the information on Baltimore Life for this webinar. I um, wanted to go over a couple things real quick before I turn it over to Gary. And again, wanted to say thank you again for taking time out of your schedule to attend our webinar. A couple things with <clears throat> IMS. We offer such great uh, services to our agents, one of them being in Life and Annuity Academy, and with this academy, it is a two-day training. It is industry recognized, and while I talk about this, I am going to send out a poll question, and basically all you're doing if you check yes is just saying that you want some additional information. Again, industry recognized, it's all expense paid. We pay for your airline, your lodging, food, all of that great stuff. And we go over different sales ideas and strategies. We go over everything from turnkey uh, seminar systems. Uh, we go over single premium life and wealth transfer. Uh, we go over ad advanced annuity sales topics, software tools, um, annuity industry threats and trends, especially with the new DOL ruling. We go over uh, client uh, you know, um, topics and how to overcome their objections. And we take agents from all across the country to do this. We had over 400 register and we, we, you know, we take between 35 and 40. It is an amazing opportunity. Again, I can't strongly suggest that you click yes to it, uh, gain more information on that. And uh, we'll be happy to send that out to you. <clears throat> Looks like most of you have voted for that. So I am going to get that closed out and go on to our next. <clears throat> we also have for all of our new agents, once you're contracted with IMS, uh, within your first six months, when you place business with us, you earn what's called a new producer bonus. So whether you place life, annuity, med sub, long-term care, or a combination thereof, you earn a bonus, and that bonus starts at $750 when you place $100,000 of business, um, or you get a two-year subscription to a website or newsletter service. If you hit a $300,000 level in your first six months of um, writing business with us, you can choose a $1,500 gift card. You can choose a $2,000 matching marketing money to promote your business, or you can choose a full social security program and $3,000 piece postcard mailing. <clears throat> In your first six months, if you just are doing great and you place half a million dollars of business with us, and again, that's life, annuity, MedSub, long-term care, or a combination thereof, you get to choose a 5,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with one of our top producers, Matt Gill. You can choose a 4,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with a top producer, Dave Pimper, or you can choose a great um, reward, which is what frankly I would love to do right now is a Ritz Carlton travel rewards and that's make your own personal getaway. So you can tell that we really uh, value all of our producers and especially we know um, how difficult, difficult it is to be one of those new producers and we just like to say thank you for coming aboard and this is one of the many ways that we say thank you. What we also have to offer our all of our agents is an amazing media and creative service department. And what we have to offer you is everywhere from your basic marketing to your advanced marketing. So if you need help, whether it's coming up with a logo or business cards or stationery, we will help you do that. If you need help with a website, um, email newsletter service, or if you just want to revamp your website, we have the media department to assist you to do that. Um, you know, a newsletter service, whether you want to send out a newsletter each month or whether you want to send that 
out that newsletter in an email, we're able to do that. Uh, you know, advanced online marketing, where we put your website on a paid search management for your local area. So it pops up anyone when um, someone's looking for insurance. And we also do radio and television ads. So I can't strongly suggest enough that you contact Matt Neal and Adam Bylas here in our office they handle all of our creative services again matt neal and adam bylas they would be able to help you again with any website radio television ad email newsletter service just a fantastic opportunity to help grow your business and get it out there for people to see so right now i'm going to go ahead and give it over to gary voith to tell you about all the great things baltimore life has to offer we love baltimore life they're an amazing company outstanding to work with not only on an agent side but also on a customer service side which is always very important um, after the sale closed so gary it is all you Gary. Thanks so much, Sandy, and thanks everyone. Had my mute button on, I apologize. Uh, but thanks so much, Sandy, and good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to say every time that I hear uh, the presentation by IMS in terms of the services that they offer, it always amazes me. And really, you know, I look at that presentation and say, boy, uh, what a great recruiting opportunity IMS has to find great agents out there who are looking for the services that they provide because believe me as probably most of you know not every organization uh, that you're contracted with can provide you with that level of support so thanks so much for making us a part of it today's session that we have is we're going to be talking about uh, Baltimore Life's tax efficient asset transfer program and in today's session we're going to be featuring two products our generation legacy and single premium whole life product. Both of these products are really designed with uh, your senior clients in mind who have what we like to call some leave behind money. Money they don't need to live on, but they would simply like to leave behind, create a legacy for their family, but do it in a tax efficient way. Uh, the session today will not only be talking about uh, the product, but we're going to be getting into uh, our efficient way of uh, completing your applications using our point of sale underwriting process and also talking about some sales and marketing ideas to support you along the way. So a little bit on the market before we get started, it's absolutely huge, about one to three trillion dollars in wealth continues to be passed each and every year and that's going to continue to happen between now and the year 2052. We know that about 55% of your client's wealth is moving on to their family members and about 16% of their wealth is moving on to their favorite charities. So yes, it's over, you know, what, 65, 71% of their wealth is moving on to people and organizations they know and love. The question is, are they maximizing the amount of money they're able to pass on, and are they really doing it in the most tax efficient way? Well, the first product we'll talk about as a solution for that is our Generation Legacy product. And this product is designed for you to be able to help facilitate the transfer of single premium funds from either non-qualified deferred annuities or other qualified plan funds, such as 401ks, IRAs, 403bs, and the like. But this is money, of course, that's not needed for daily living, thus allowing your client to uh, leave an estate increase their estate tax efficiently through the use of life insurance. The uh, issue age for the product is 60 through age 80. And our product very uniquely allows you to write a single application and as a result issue two products, a single premium immediate annuity that will receive the transfer of those funds. And that SPIA will be used to pay premiums on a limited premium payment whole life product. Once issued with that single application, both products will be seamlessly administered together by Bolts for Life, not the agent and not the client, in order to provide you with all the benefits we'll be talking about here today. We have simplified underwriting on the product, of course, through four tables of underwriting, we'll get into that, as well as our accelerated death benefit rider, which truly can provide living benefits to your client at a time when it's needed most. 
a little bit on that um, qualified market before we get into the product again. Uh, at the end of 2015, we realized that there's approximately about 2. Seven trillion dollars of enforced deferred annuities out there. About 65% of that money, of course, is in tax qualified or employer plans, but 35% of it are in those non qualified deferred annuities that you're selling and have on the books. As you well know, a significant share of that money, it's just simply being transferred to the next generation. People are buying annuities for the rate of return they get, the ability to tax defer the money, but in essence, eventually, you know, either you annuitize those funds or you pass it on. And in many cases, people aren't using the annuity feature. They're just simply passing the money along. So it, once you hit age 70 and a half, of course, with any qualified fund, you're going to have a required minimum distribution kick in. We know that. But at death, ultimately, all you're really doing is passing the tax on those gains from those plans uh, to the next generation, which are usually in a much higher tax bracket. So when we look at that, we say, you know, we know annuities are fantastic products, but are they the best products to die with? Is there really a better solution? And we feel as though there is with Generation Legacy. So let's conceptually look at Generation Legacy and think of it as a gift, a gift that your client's going to be passing along to the next generation. And inside that gift box, you're going to help facilitate for your client the transfer of annuities and qualified funds. By writing a single application again, we're going to issue two products, a SPIA that will receive the transfer of the funds, along with a limited premium payment whole life product. Over a period of either seven or 10 years, Baltimore Life will automatically make annual premium payments from the SPIA to pay premiums on the life product. So what dictates the payment pattern? It's the issue age. If the client 60 to 74 will issue a 10-year SPIA along with the 10-year life product. If the client 75 to 80, a 7-year SPIA along with the 7-year limited payment whole life product. So here's where the benefits really start to get rich though. What if your client were to die during the period of time while the SPIA is being used to fund that life insurance product? Well, we know that the life insurance will always pay an income tax-free death benefit, of course, that's greater than the single premium paid. But with our product, in addition to receiving the life insurance benefit income tax-free, the survivor, the beneficiary, will also receive the remaining payments from the SPIA, not used to fund the life insurance. We'll be talking in a bit about the payout of those SPIA funds, but of course the SPIA funds that haven't been taxed before, once they are paid out, eventually do have to be taxed We'll talk about that more in a minute. But the client's Benny is getting the life insurance benefits income tax-free plus the remaining payments from the SPIA. They're not absorbed into that death benefit. It really is a very rich benefit and a very easy to sell. Of course, at the end of the seven or 10 year period, the gift box is complete. The whole life product is fully paid up. It continues to provide income tax-free uh, death benefits, tax uh, deferred cash value growth, as well as all the rich benefits in our accelerated death benefit rider. So let's look at a recap here. The issue ages were 60 through age 80. We do base our pricing on current age or age at last birthday. Now the reason this is important is that you're going to be dealing with a transfer of funds from other products from other institutions, and that transfer product uh, process might take 20 to 35 days. When we actually receive the funds, the day we receive the funds, we will issue the client's contract based on their age at, on that day. We can't backdate. It's based on the current age based on the day we receive the funds. Now, the minimum premium to get this started is only $5,000. How many clients do you have out there that have multiple annuities in various denominations from five to 50 to 70,000, whatever it might be, that their only goal is to pass that money to the next generation. And you know, it's great to know where the funds are, but if you haven't found out what the goal of the funds are, that's really the secret to being uh, very successful in the asset transfer market. Uh, so what's the average premium we see on this product? About sixty to $65,000. The maximum face amount that we'll issue based on the single premium paid is $450,000. Now, we do have two underwriting classes, non-tobacco and tobacco, and through simplified underwriting, we'll issue any risk standard through Table 4, either as non-tobacco or tobacco. And, of course, we have gender-based rates as well. Um, 
cl uh, cl cash values. They accumulate in the life insurance product on a non-participating basis. What about partial surrenders? Partial surrenders are available from the life insurance product, but after the life product becomes fully paid up, and of course that's seven or 10 years. Loans, they're available at any time from the life insurance policy cash value at a maximum interest rate of 8%. So let's take a look now at those accelerated death benefit riders. And I think I always wanna preface uh, the review of these riders by saying that, as we all know, the best way to provide long-term care protection is through a good long-term care contract. But as we also all know that the cost of long-term care insurance is, is very, very high. And most seniors aren't in a position where they can afford it uh, or want to invest in that type of protection. So isn't it nice to know that they can actually accelerate their life insurance benefits as part of this rider? And that's really you know, the benefit of having this, this type of rider on a contract. So there are three health event triggers that will allow your client to accelerate life insurance benefits on the life insurance policy that they're attached to. They are terminal illness, confinement to a qualified nursing home facility, and in situations of extended care, home health care and adult daycare. Uh, upon the decision to accelerate, that can happen any time after issue, a lien for the amount of money that was accelerated or taken will accumulate at an annual interest rate of 8%. Of course, that'll be duct deducted. Oh, I moved too fast on those slides that'll be deducted from the final death benefit that's paid. Now the maximum that you can accelerate on this contract is $250,000. And uh, the good news is though this benefit is paid out once and it's paid out in a lump sum. That way the money is there at a time when it's needed most. And you also wanna remember these are absolutely unrestricted funds. So the client can use these funds for whatever reason they deem needed. So now let's take a look at the definitions of these uh, health event triggers and the percentages of payout. The first one is terminal illness. So in this case, client simply needs to be terminally ill with a life expectancy of 12 months or less. Here they could accelerate up to 75% of the face amount. The second rider covers both the nursing home confinement and extended care. And in either situation, they can accelerate up to 50%. So how do you qualify under a qualified nursing home provision? Client needs to be diagnosed as critically ill, confined to a nursing home continuously for 90 days, but with the expectation of a permanent confinement. For extended care, same chronic illness needs to be a, there uh, and has been so for 90 days, but now they're requiring care provided by either a licensed home health care agency or a licensed or state certified adult daycare center. Here too, they would get a 50% payout at max. Now please keep in mind that there's roughly about seven states right now that have different payout provisions on these riders. Our uh, state approval chart that you can find in our product toolkit on our agent website has all those state specific uh, payout percentages. In our footer there, we just show an example for Pennsylvania and Indiana. So what do we mean by chronic illness uh, as it applies to the nursing home provision and extended care provision? If the client satisfies either of these definitions, we consider them to be chronically ill. The first one is they can't perform two out of six activities of daily living. Maybe they're okay on their ADLs, but possibly they could be suffering from a severe organic mental illness like Alzheimer's or dementia. In either case, we consider them to be chronically ill. So let's look at some examples of payouts here. So it, it comes to life a little bit how this lean process works. We're going to assume a face amount on the life product where the riders are attached at $100,000. We're also going to assume the client is terminal, so their max payout is 75%. So if they took the maximum accelerated rate and took a $75,000 living benefit payout, but they died immediately after getting that money, no time for interest or accrual in the lien, their remaining death benefit would simply be calculated by taking the face amount, less the original lien, and by the way, we do add a $100 service fee on that lien, and the remaining death benefit becomes $24,900. But the more practical example to show is what if the client dies one year after getting that um, living benefit of 75 grand? So now, we would, they still got the 75 grand up front, but when they die one year later, the face amount less the original lien plus one year's worth of interest, and I'm just using a max rate of 8%, 
gives in, gives you a uh, remaining death benefit of 18,892. What you can see from these examples is that these riders are designed to be able to pay out cash now, but still have remaining life insurance benefit for that named beneficiary. Keep in mind that um, it would take in this example over four years for the client being in a terminal situation for the interest in the, on that lien to outrun the remaining death benefit. Pretty impractical that you would see that occur. So technically, you know, could these riders terminate from the life policy? Well, technically they could. Let's look at some quick examples. What if the whole life policy ended? You say, well, hold it. How can the life policy end if the SPIA is automatically funding it? Well, what if a client gives you $100,000 in the first year, and they say, this is leave behind money. I want to increase my estate. Two years later, they come to you and say, wow, I ran into money issues and the withdrawal features or the loan features just aren't going to work, right? So um, I need to cash out. So if they stop the whole life contract at that point, obviously the riders end. Um, and that would mean that the remaining payments from the SPIA would just be paid out as annual payments to the annuitant at that point in time. This is very unusual to happen, but it can occur. What if the insured dies? We pay a death benefit instead. And finally, what if the client accelerates, let's say, under the nursing home provision at 50%? Um, that means they can only accelerate once. The, the riders stop after that. The other thing to remember is the example I had talked about earlier is what if the interest, for some reason, exceeds the remaining death benefit? That's where the client who's terminal gets their living benefit, but now they live four years in a terminal situation. In that case, of course, you know, the policy could stop, but if you want to keep it, you know, surviving there, the owner can repay all or part of the lien at any time to keep this qualified as a life insurance contract. Now, um, the, keep in mind that even though you take an accelerated benefit, there's still cash value in the product that accumulates tax deferred. And the other thing to remember is that if you have an accelerated benefit, you cannot also have a policy loan. It's one or the other. The last thing to say is that no matter what you're working with our company or any company similar benefit, always tell your clients to consult with their tax advisor if they'd like to uh, accelerate these benefits. Because technically, uh, the rider may, and the key word is may, in certain situations be considered taxable as a living benefit. So let's take a quick recap of a potential case and potential payouts for this rider. Here's the female 70 non-tobacco user who had $50,000 from an annuity. Uh, puts it into the SPIA portion of this product. And on the life product, we have a death benefit of $78,000, nearly $451. So she's immediately increased her estate by what? $28,451, knowing that if she dies in the first 10 years, the remaining benefits from the SPIA would also be paid to her Benny. Keep in mind, if she wants to accelerate these benefits, look at the cash payout. Now, these are big dollar payouts to a senior who's at end of life who realizes now they can access their life insurance benefits to get some cash for whatever end of life reason they might like. Excellent benefit. Everybody loves it. It's probably one of the best riders in my 38 years in the business I've seen introduced. So we know what the tax efficiency of this program is. You put a single premium in. You get a greater death benefit, and that death benefit is paid income tax-free. Well, what's another tax efficiency? It's really the transfer of the funds. So if you're transferring funds from an annuity where there's a basis and a gain, or if you're transferring money from an, uh, from an IRA where all of it's gained, none of the money's ever been taxed before, eventually Uncle Sam has to get paid, right? But when you're transferring funds, let's say, from an IRA into the SPIA portion of this product, the beauty is, is that by putting into the SPIA, which is becoming a qualified funding vehicle for the life product, we're now able to spread the tax out on that gain from that IRA over the 10 or 7 year period that it's going to be used to fund the life insurance product. So please keep in mind that your policy owner will receive a 1099 each year during that 10 or 7 year payout. Um, also keep in mind that the payment we make each year from the SPIA to the life product does satisfy the RMD rules. That's good news. And uh, one more thing on tax here. Uh, the life insurance we know is income tax-free, but the remaining payments from the SPIA, of course, would 
be taxable based on the portion of money that had not been taxed before. So if the client dies two years into a 10-year payout for the life product, the remaining eight years of payments would be paid to the named beneficiary. If that money that was funding the SPIA was at IRA, each payment that they get would be taxable because the money hasn't been taxed before. Now the client's beneficiary could elect to take those remaining payments and annual payments, or they could take a lesser commuted lump sum. In either case, the tax would be based on the appropriate distribution. One more thing on tax before we finish it is the application. Uh, because we're dealing with qualified funds, we have to ask the question, do you want uh, money withheld from the money that you're rolling over, let's say, from the annuity? We have to ask the question, but you, in order to make this product work, we cannot do a withholding. So please make sure you check the box on the application that says you do not want tax withheld from the annuity. Otherwise, we have to send everything back to you. So now let's look at premiums to death benefits, because this is where it gets exciting, right? Start thinking about those clients that you have out there now and people you're going to be meeting that you know have annuities. You might know that they have annuities and what the amount of the annuities are, but you're not quite sure what the goal of the money actually is. Does the client need it for income, or in fact, can't, are they just pan, planning to pass it along? So here's the 65-year-old, has $50,000 that they're going to put into this product. And because they're 65, we're going to issue a 10-year SPIA along with a 10-year life product. For the male, the face amount would be $77,000, nearly $361. And for the female, the face amount is $87,031 and change. So what did you just do for this female 65? Well, you've immediately increased her estate by over $37,000, knowing that if she dies in the first 10 years, the remaining payments from the SPIA would also be paid out to her name beneficiary. Now, she might say to you, well, Sandy, what if I left that money in the annuity where it was, and I'm making 3% interest and I'm in a 25% tax bracket? It would take her over 19 years just to accumulate the $87,000 dollars that would be paid out from the life insurance product, keeping in mind that that $87,000 dollars from the life product is always going to be there to be paid income tax free to the named beneficiary. What about the 75 year old, a little older, a little shorter life expectancy, but the numbers still look good, don't they? Because this client 75 will issue a seven year payout on the SPIA along with a seven year life product. For the male, the face amount would be 31,516 and change. And for the female, the face amount is uh, 67,000, nearly $9. So even at 75, you're increasing that lady's estate by over 17 grand, the male nearly $12,000, plus if they die in the first seven years, the remaining payments from the SPIA are also paid. I tell you this, I've been working with this product for years, and uh, the one thing you'll find is that seniors love it because they really, you know, they're sitting on money at lower interest rates, especially in annuities right now, and um, they're saying, well, you know, can I do better? Well, all if they're trying to pass the money to their survivors, yeah, they can do better, a lot better. Once you make these sales, what you're going to find is that it's going to leverage the opportunity for you to get referrals early and often. They're going to talk to their friends because they're out there socializing. They always want to spread good news about something they just got like this. And it's going to create a great opportunity for you to get referrals. All right, let's take a quick look at a ledger that I think will help you illustrate to your client exactly how this product works. So out on our agent website, we have our Secure Solution Illustrator software. You can create a full proposal for this. Uh, no signature is needed. No, this isn't an illustrated product, so no signed illustration is needed. We also have, I'll talk about later, our mobile link software. That's where right on your phone, it's like having an electronic agent guide with mobile link. You can look at products, you can look at underwriting information, but you can also do these ledgers right on your phone. So here's the 70 year old with 50 grand coming from an annuity, let's say, with a cost basis of 40,000. And you can see in column three that 50,000 going in to the SPIA portion of this product. Out of that SPIA, we're going to make an annual premium of $5,570 a year for the life product over a 10-year period. 
Based on that payment we know, though, and the cost basis, the excluded amount from tax is nearly $4,000, and the estimated taxable income that your client would get the 1099 on is $1,571 a year. And of course, we're factoring in interest over that 10-year period to come up with this. The ledger goes on to show the life insurance death benefit, as well as the commuted lump sum death benefit from the SPIA if the client were to die early. Our ledger shows a lot more, including cash values and product descriptions, but this is a great way to illustrate to your client how this product works after they understand the basic concept of asset transfer. It also is very good to use this to make sure the client clearly, clearly understands that they will get a 1099 uh, based on the estimated taxable portion that's being paid from the speed to the life product. So what about forms? Let's make this very simple. We have on our agent website at Bulls for Life product toolkits. And product toolkits are set up for every product you're personally contracted for with us. You answer a couple of quick questions, and it's automatically going to populate the forms for you that you need. You can print the forms, order the forms in quantity for us, whatever you might want to do. But the other things that come out with the forms is a set of instructions that explain to you how to you know, get your apps to us. But the biggest thing it gets into is our point of sale underwriting process. This is where as soon as you complete that application, you're going to pick up the phone with your client there and make a phone call to our call center. And in about 12 minutes of doing an interview with your client, we're going to be able to give you an underwriting decision well over 90% of the time right there at point of sale. So that way, before you're even dealing with the transfer of funds, you know exactly what's going on with the underwriting. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Out on that product toolkit, we'll also uh, be able to show you a little bit later on a few of the um, great sales and marketing tools we have on our agent website. We have lots of great tools to help support your marketing effort in addition to mobile link. We have customizable marketing flyers, client brochures, our agent guide, point of sale presentation pieces, just a lot of great tools for you to use. We'll show and tell some of those later. So now let's get into our single premium life product. This is the sister product. Same goals for your client. They want to increase their estate, pass along a, a legacy, do it in a tax efficient way. But there's some distinctive differences. The first of which is this product is designed to take single premium dollars from after tax cash vehicles, CDs, money markets, mutual funds, and where appropriate, 1035 life-to-life -life product exchanges. Issue age for the clients is a little broader, 50 to 85, because we are working with after-tax cash funds. With this product, underwriting availability, a little broader. We have non-tobacco and tobacco, simplified issue rates through eight tables of underwriting. And finally, we have the same accelerated death benefit health triggers on here, uh, and, but we have a little bit more lucrative way to pay these out, and I'll talk about those in a moment. So 50 to 85 is the issue age, again, based on current age or age at last birthday. We have both non-tobacco and tobacco underwriting classes with two tiers of underwriting. Level one is standard through table four, same as you have for generation legacy, but the second level or tier is tables five through eight. So a client with a few more challenging health issues is going to qualify. Minimum premium to get started, it's only $5,000. How many clients do you have out there that have many CDs out there that they're stacking them, right? This money is for the kids. This money is, is uh, four different CDs for my four grandkids three different CDs for my kids. I've got another CD that's going to the church. This is all their leave behind money, but they're siloing that money in CDs out there. There might be another situation as some of you, let's say, are selling a, a final expense type of product that you might uh, say to the client, you know, Mrs. Jones, would you have been covering some of your final expenses, life insurance? And she says to you, no, Sandy, you know what? I don't need any life insurance. I have a burial account set up. Well, that means one of two things. It either means she has a prearrangement at the local funeral home, right? Or she has a, um, a CD set up at the local bank that her kids know that's the money set aside to bury her. Maybe the CD is $15,000. I know my parents each had these, even though they had a life insurance product when they died. 
So here's how that role play might go. Mrs. Jones, you're 70. You're going to live many more years. I'm sure you know costs are going to go up. What if I was able to show you a way to take that $15,000 CD and provide your family at your age of 70 right now with a nearly $25,000 income tax-free death benefit? Oh, by the way, if you became terminal in a nursing home or an extended care situation, you could get at some of that cash to help you with end-of-life expenses. Would that be of interest to you? That's called the burial account concept, and I can't tell you how many agents got started selling single premium in this exact way. They start selling the five, to ten, to fifteen, to twenty thousand dollar premiums, and what they realize by doing good fact buying, not only locating the money, but what the goal of the money is, they started selling much bigger premium cases. So we said that Generation Legacy had an average premium of sixty to sixty-five thousand dollars. This product has an average premium of about $30,000. The maximum face amount for single premium whole life is expressed in terms of the maximum net amount at risk. And that's really just the difference between the face amount we issue and the premium paid. That gap is the net amount at risk. And all of our software won't allow you to violate these rules. That's pretty easy. Cash values, they accumulate in this product on a non-participating basis. But here's another difference, partial surrenders. So even though the client gives you some money who they said was leave behind money, maybe starting as early as policy or two, they say, you know what, mm, I have an emergency. Can I get some at, at some of my funds? And with this product, starting in policy or two, they can do a partial withdrawal or surrender at a rate of 10% of the available cash. 20% in year three, year four is 30%, year five is 40%, and from the six year forward, 100% of the available cash value can be taken as a partial surrender. Now loans, they're available at any time at a maximum rate of 8%. Not really sure why you would use a loan if you have that lucrative surrender feature. So what about the accelerated death benefit riders? Again, the same three health event triggers I told you about with Generation Legacy. The same benefit of getting this money in a lump sum paid out um, you know, one time, and these are unrestricted funds. But here's one of the big differences. With this rider on this particular product, um, the client can say, you know what, Sandy, I, I really don't care about life insurance. Give me as much money as possible and be gone with the life insurance. That's one way they can do it. That's a full acceleration. Or they can elect a partial acceleration where they leave a certain amount of life insurance paid up and accelerate the balance at a certain percentage. So let's look at those examples. Terminal illness, 12 months or less to live, same definition to qualify, but now on a full acceleration they could take 95% of the face amount less a 250 admin charge. For qualified nursing, again same definition to qualify, but now they could do what? A 90% payout as a full acceleration plus the 250 charge. And sometimes people say, well, why did the percentages go down? Well, because the life expectancy is longer. We're, we're accelerating or giving money sooner to someone, but they're going to live more years. So it's an interest factor there. And finally, the extended care, home health care, and adult daycare trigger, because they're going to live longer yet, they can do a full acceleration at a maximum rate of 80% less the 250 charge. Uh, but in all three of these triggers that we've talked about, they can elect to do a partial acceleration. So if they had a $100,000 face amount, they say, well, let's do $25,000 of paid up life insurance over here, and then take the other 75,000 in face and accelerate at these rates. That's called a uh, partial acceleration. So those options, are there and it's very lucrative in this contract. Same definition for chronic illness, two out of six activities or daily living, or a client suffering from a severe organic mental illness. So now let's look at the premiums to death benefits. Think now, think now about those prospects and clients you see that you know they've got the, CD, the CDs just stacked in their portfolio. You just have to figure out what the goal of that money is. So 50 grand for a 65-year-old male, level one underwriting, would give a face amount of nearly $82,000, and for the female, a face amount of nearly $93,000. But with this product, let's not forget we have a second level of underwriting, tables five through table eight, 
And what you'll find across all ages and genders that that level of underwriting will be roughly a five to six thousand dollar reduction in face amount as compared to level one. Not bad considering you're getting that second tier of underwriting available. So what did you just do for this female 65 who said, I got a $50,000 CD, but it's intended for my children or grandchildren. You've increased her estate by nearly $43,000. She was probably moving that money from a CD that was making less than 1% in the bank, plus she's getting a 1099 every year. Now, this is generous, but assuming a 3% interest rate, 25% tax bracket, it would take her 28 years just to accumulate the increase you gave her in her state value. Not forgetting that that nearly $93,000 life insurance benefit is always there to be paid income tax free. So here's the 70 year old, little older, little shorter life expectancy, but the numbers still look good, don't they? For the male at level one underwriting, the face amount is nearly 74 grand. For the female, the face amount just over 82,000. And again, with that level two of underwriting, you're seeing roughly a five to $6,000 reduction in order to get that second tier of underwriting available. But my heavens, when you're looking at a female at 70 who gives you a CD with less than 1% she's making on it today, and you increase her estate by over $32,000, this is going to get people's eyes open for you. And they're gonna get excited about that sale, and again, it's gonna create opportunities to get referrals early and often. Same story on the forms for this product. You go to our agent uh, website, you go to the Single Premium Whole Life Product Toolkit, you answer a couple of quick questions, it'll give you the forms that you need. And out there in the toolkit, we have bunches of other great sales and marketing tools, and I'll show you a few of those as we end the session today. So let's get to what I think is the icing on the cake for this program, and that is our point of sale underwriting process. You know, it's great to be able to have a competitive product, great comp, you know, but if, if you can't get the quick underwriting decision, sometimes that's, that's not good for cementing the sale, right? So that's why we had this. As soon as you complete the application, you're going to pick up the phone during call center hours and complete a 12-minute interview with your client in our call center. Now, when we do this interview, we're going to be asking your client the same health questions that you completed on the paper app. The only difference is we're now going to be pulling up the data we need to see from the Medical Information Bureau as well as the Prescription Drug Database. That way, if there's any conflicting data out there as compared to the app answers, we can get clarity right then and there, thus doing live underwriting and making a decision. Now, any underwriting decision we make is not communicated to the client, it's communicated to you. You control the sale and the response to the client and what the underwriting outcome was. Now, we will give you at the end of this call a confirmation number that we ask you to write on the first page of the app. And uh, obviously, when you're finished all the paperwork, get it uh, to us back uh, you know, in, in your office, get it to us by emailing it or faxing it. All that information are on our app package instruction sheet. So what's the phone number for the call center? Toll free, it's 888-368-9678. Again, all this information I'm giving you now is all over the app package materials. The call center hours, 9 a.m. to 10.30 p.m., Monday through Thursday, as well as 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Friday. These are Eastern times. We do support English and Spanish languages. Other languages are available upon request. If you have a hearing impaired client, we have TTY services in English and Spanish. The key thing is that this interview must be completed within five calendar days of completing the application. Now, you might say to yourself, well, what happens if I'm writing an app on a Saturday or for after hours? What do I do? No matter when you finish the app, you want to pick up the phone, call the call center, and leave your name and number, your client's name and number, and a date and time you want us to call them. We'll call them at that specific time, get the interview done, and again, call you back with the underwriting decision that you'll communicate to your client. We're not communicating that decision, you'll be communicating. Obviously, if you get the interview done during normal business hours at the call center, we give you all that done at the same time. How do you pre-qualify these applications? Let's make it simple. We have an app for each product. For Generation Legacy, since there's one tier, of underwriting, we have one section of medical questions, Part A. 
If you get all no in the Part A questions, coupled with good height and weight, MIB, and drug history, we're going to issue the Generation Legacy product. With single premium whole life, we have two tiers of underwriting. So as a result, we have a Part A and Part B section. Still think of your Part A questions as knockout. If you get a yes in Part A, it means you don't qualify for through eight tiers of underwriting, right? But if you're all know in Part A and all know in Part B, with good height and weight drug history and MIB, we're going to issue Tier 1 for single premium whole life. If you get all no in Part A but one yes in Part B and everything else looks good, we'll issue Tier 2. So with that, we're going to transition real quick here and uh, take a look at um, something else on the site. Okay. So Did I lose... Did I lose the screen, Sandy? You did. I am going to um, make me the presenter, actually, and we're going to go to questions. So I'm going yeah, let's to do that. While we go to questions, I am going to ask uh, one more qu one more question of my own, actually, and that is, if sure. you want to get contracted with. Uh, would you be interested in contracting with Baltimore Life? Again, absolutely amazing carrier, just a great carrier. Uh, so let's go to some questions while you answer that uh, poll question there. Let's see what we have. Gosh, we have lots of questions. Everything is being recorded, so everyone who has registered will receive this um, webinar as a recording. Um, Someone asked, Gary, that they have a client who has a Roth. Mm -hmm. How does that affect him tax-wise? Um, the, yeah, the Roth, the Roth IRA would not be um, something that uh, would be eligible for the, um, uh, for the product. You know, the Roth IRA would be already after tax, correct? So, uh, yeah, you could use that in Generation Legacy. Um, so it's you know that it's certainly possible to use that within the generation legacy product. Okay, and then uh, did you go over the great trip that Baltimore Life is offering for next year? I I didn't, and you know I'm going to apologize to you because as I was finishing that slide deck, I was ready to transition <laughs> to my other slide deck. And what I just realized, I just got issued a new computer here. And as a result, <laughs> that other slide deck wasn't on my desktop, and it's not easy to get to. So I'm going to kind of do the radio version yeah. of that promotion for the trip. Uh, but, yeah, you know, IMS has fantastic trips. I know the trip you guys just had, uh, our sales VP was out at it. Fantastic trips. So it's nice that you can take multiple vacations just for doing a great job. Our trip for next year is May 17th through May 21st. We're going to be at um, uh, the uh, Cabo San Lucas on the Baja Peninsula at the Grand Fiesta Americana Golf and Spa Resort. Uh, in order to qualify, we're only talking about $60,000 in credits or convention credits. What does that mean for single premium business? It simply means that if you do $600,000 in premium, we count 10% of that towards the trip. So it's probably one of the lower qualification amounts out there uh, for a trip. And uh, when you look at the average premiums, it doesn't take that many cases to get there. So that's uh, Cabo San Lucas next May. And, um, you know, hope we'll see all of you there. And the nice thing about our trips, by the way, is it's not business. It's all about pleasure. We don't have business meetings. So hopefully you're going to come join us next May. It's a great trip. So and so that six hundred thousand counts toward your new producer bonus. Um, so you would get your new producer bonus, and then that would also count toward our trips as well. And um, we have a question on compensation. So compensation, I'll go ahead and send out uh, commission schedules along with contracting uh, for your for agents who are not contracted already with. Uh, Baltimore Life. For the Generation Legacy, the compensation is on the full transfer of the monies. It's not on that, um, like that internal SPIA. So whatever the client is transferring over, that's what the compensation is based on. And of course, the Correct. client's age. 
what other questions do we have? Let's see. Here. And while we're waiting for the other question, let me throw out one uh, that's in my other slide deck, and it's I referenced it, but it's rather important. It's our mobile link software because this is something your agents could start using immediately today. Um, jot this address down if you're out there. It's mobile m o b i l e dot vault life b a l t l i f e dot com. So mobile dot life dot com will get you to our mobile link site. Save that as a shortcut right on your phone or smart tablet. Now you can launch it just like any other app. But basically, you're connecting to our servers, which now it'll give you like an aging guide in the palm of your hand. You can read on the products, the underwriting information, but more importantly, you'll have a rate and value calculator in the palm of your hand for both the products we talked about here today. All right, so it doesn't look like we have any additional questions. Uh, again, this is Sandy with Insurance Agency Marketing. Uh, you will all receive a recorded copy of this webinar. Any questions, you are more than welcome to, uh, well, we have a, another quick question that popped in. Sure. <clears throat> so they're asking for an example of a client letter. I can go ahead and get that sent out. Uh, we have copies. Baltimore Life does an amazing job of um, giving samples of mm -hmm. their brochures and client letters, so I'll get that out. Uh, again, questions on quotes uh, or questions on the products that Baltimore Life has, you can give me a call at 800-255-5055. The recorded webinar that you'll be receiving will have all of my contact information out uh, on there. So again, thank you everyone for your time. Just so greatly appreciate it. Gary, thank you so much. Uh, you just thank did you. such an amazing job and I hope everyone has a great and safe weekend. So thank you and goodbye.